Hey everyone, we're here playing Portal 2. That's right. It's just new game. That works fine. So you ready for this? One of my favorite games of well, yeah, probably one of my favorite Valve games, if not my favorite Valve game. <laughs> And definitely one of the top games up there. Portal 2. Now, I like Portal 1 too. I like Portal 1 as well, I should say. <laughs> but Portal 2. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Yay, buzzers! Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental <laughs> wellness exercise. I like that gymnastics. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Art mountains. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return okay. to your bed. I don't want to. Okay, fine. Uh, uh. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Whoa, what? This courtesy call. Hello? Anyone in there? Yeah. Hello? Ha! Ah! Oh, God, God. You look um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Yeah. Oh, answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slowly. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay what? calm. Stay, stay what? calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Hang on to what? Ah. Hey, you knocked right, my land off. Yeah, I'm fine. Me? Hello? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core uh -oh. safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. That doesn't sound good. Okay, look, Whoa. I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How you doing down there? You still holding on? Besides the fact you can't drive! The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, ah. this is a bit tricky. And of course, I'll just hide here. Tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Yes. i not enough space. Maybe. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Ow. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Ow. Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Do you see this guy on the road? Okay, listen. We should get out of Get off the street, road. Right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there! 
On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. Uh -huh. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Um. Good news. That is not a docking station. I could have told so you that. One mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt uh, a manual override. Right. On this wall. Um, not sure if that's a good idea. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Ow. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that yeah. got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. That's the spirit. Let's do this. Um. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. <laughs> Again. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Uh huh. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. That's at twelve o'clock. Constantly and forever. Right. You remember this? Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Uh huh. But please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation See? wheel will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. And the elevator still works. Who would have thought? I didn't. But aperture, you you my friends are know how to do it. Right. We need to escape at the first chance we get. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. That does not sound good. Or natural. Remember this one from the first one? Except for in the first one it was just it was random and not on um, and you didn't push a button good Camera. because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing uh -huh. your test environment is unsupervised before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing please take a moment to write down the results of your test an Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Right. That is not going to happen. Because as soon as I can, hasta la vista, I'm out of here. Gone. With the wind. Or, well, I hope there's still wind. Huh. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us, such as a giant leopard printed tur turret, obvious operated by a leopard. Hey, hey you made it! Yep. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't. Oh! Thanks a lot. Can you see the portal gun? Also, <laughs> are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm yeah, you should have. I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead, of course not. 
Oh, my jump boots or whatever. Uh, landing gear. Thingies. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. I do like how they <laughs> talk about lethal military android and the laws of robotics. Which... I can't think of it offhand, but I do know one of them is that a robot cannot harm a human, and that's like the golden... Law of Robotics. <laughs> and yet it's a lethal military android. Hmm. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Also, snipe as many cameras as we can. For reasons of camera snipage. Mm. And up here. Oh. To me. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. I oh, know I deserve them all. Well, that didn't happen last time. Well, neither did this. Ooh, escape route. Can we get out of here? No. But there is that. How cool. The. Oh, what are they? The people who... Rat tunnels? Hmm. But yeah, the golden rule of robotics says that you can't... That robots can't hurt humans. And... All that. And... If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Uh-huh. I will keep that in mind. But yeah, it apparently, um... Can't do that. Lost my train of thought, to be honest. Alright. I know exactly what to do. Um, maybe. Perhaps, somewhat. <laughs> Mine. Ow. Up the stairs, silly person. Also, I don't remember this place being so... Nature y. Ah, I did it too late. Okay. Yes, perfect. I don't remember this part. This wasn't part of the original, as I recall. It's been a while well since done. I played it. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Remember that. 1.1 volts. Remember.